Liverpool, England, UK has a significant area of public parks and gardens. The English Heritage National Register of Historic Parks describes Merseyside's Victorian parks as collectively the most important in the country. The city of Liverpool has ten listed parks and cemeteries, including two Grade I and five Grade II asterisk. More than any other English city apart from London, there are over 2,500 acres (10 square kilometers) of parks and open spaces in the city. Much of the open space was for centuries private estate land. In particular several of the city's grand houses of the Georgian and Victorian eras are now either demolished or in public ownership, with their grounds and gardens given over to the city. Notable, however, are several parks which were conceived from the outset as public parks, modelled in part on the nearby Birkenhead Park, out with Liverpool across the River Mersey, which was amongst the first of its type in the world. <laughs> Historical background In 1833, the Government's Select Committee on Public Walks emphasized the need to provide accessible space for recreation to improve the health of the urban population, to diffuse social tensions and to allow social classes to mix. From the early 1850s onwards, Liverpool endorsed this policy with the introduction of a ring of major municipal parks through a significant level of investment in public parks. These included Princes, Sefton, Wavertree, Shiel, Newsham and Stanley Parks. Parks and open spaces This list includes all the parks and open spaces included in the website of Liverpool City Council, all the registered parks and gardens in the National Heritage List for England, and a historic park that is now closed. Key. Entry to all of these parks is unrestricted in terms of opening hours, with the exception of the Walled Botanic Garden in Wavertree Park, and free of charge in all cases. Topic Croxteth Country Park Today Croxteth Hall and Country Park is managed by Liverpool City Council. This park is an example of a working country estate, with the park featuring the historic hall itself, surrounded by mature woodlands, a collection of rare breed farm animals in the traditional home farm yard, and a Victorian walled garden. The hall is Grade II asterisk listed and the park Grade II. Topic: Academic Studies. Academics from the University of Liverpool's School of History have undertaken research on the historic development of parks and open spaces in the city and their future contribution to community development, education, biodiversity, public health, and urban regeneration. The team have worked to compile the first definitive chronology of the city's parks over the past 200 years and a book should document the changing role of parks, from their prominence during the Victorian era through to the present day. <laughs> 